Best Bites Forever. What's up everyone? Welcome to Best Bites Forever. I'm Chef Alicia and in this video you're going to learn how to make horchata de ajonjole. I'm starting off here with one and a half cups of sesame seeds and I'm going to add in five or six cups of warm water. I'm going to let this soak while I take my kids to the zoo for about five hours. When we get home, I'm adding in some cinnamon. This is the kind of cinnamon that I'm using. You can use whatever kind you prefer, but I'm gonna let it soak for another hour before I strain it like so. Notice that I'm saving the water that the sesame seeds soaked in. That's because this water is full of a ton of flavor, so I don't wanna throw that out. I'm going to move my sesame seeds over here into my pilon, my mortar and pestle, and I'm going to start getting my arm work out because that is what is about to happen. You need to do a little bit of pounding here and a little bit of grinding as you go. Now I know some of you are thinking, what about a food processor, Alicia? And you know what? I had the same thought. So I went ahead and I gave it a try and I put it in the food processor, but what ultimately happened is all of the sesame seeds flung to the sides of the food processor into the lid. So I went back to my arm workout and this is what that looks like. So here I am, I've been kind of grinding this up and pounding it for a couple of minutes and then once I got it pounded down pretty well, I started kind of scraping it on the sides so that I could get kind of like a pasty consistency. So this is pretty much ready to go and I'm going to go back over here to that water that we reserved. So this is the water that the sesame seeds were soaking in. Again, I saved it, I did not throw it away and I'm going to go ahead and scrape all of those pounded down sesame seeds right here into the water and that was a nice close-up for you of what it was looking like. Do be sure to scrape the sides of your pilon really well so that you get all of that goodness into your bowl. Go ahead and repeat the process with the rest of the sesame seeds. So I drained some more, saving the water again, strained them, ground them, and into the water they go. Now this last little bit I obviously have the cinnamon stick to deal with. So depending on how much cinnamon flavor you want in your drink ultimately is how much you're going to pound this little cinnamon stick. So I like quite a bit of cinnamon flavor so I'm going to grind it down pretty well right in there with my sesame seeds and then I'm going to add it into my water. So this is almost my last little bit. I do have the bit of sesame seeds that were left in the bowl. I'm going to, of course, grind them down, strain them, do the whole process again. And then I'm going to take all of that and put it into a pan. And I probably could have saved myself a dish and just done this into the pan in the first place, but I didn't, so there you go. I'm going to add in one cup of sugar, and then I want to give it a nice little stir and take it over to my stove top. So, here I have this on medium heat. I'm just giving it a little stir to make sure that the sugar has dissolved because I don't want the sugar sitting on the bottom with the heat on. And now I'm just gonna let this hang out on the stove for a few minutes until it comes up to a boil. Again, I had that on medium heat. I've hit my boil and now it's time to turn the heat off. I'm also going to move my pan off of the heat and I'm going to allow this to steep. So the cinnamon stick is still in there. I'm going to let it steep in there for about 10 minutes. You might want to do it longer, you might want to do it shorter, but I do recommend tasting it after 10 minutes. Then you're going to let your liquid cool down completely. Just let it sit on the back of the stove until it's completely cool and then it's time to strain it. I have my bowl, my strainer, and my cheesecloth which I have doubled up and I'm simply going to pour the mixture into the cheesecloth. Be careful you don't slop it up over the sides. It can get a little bit crazy on you. Go ahead and gather up the sides of the cheesecloth and then you're going to squeeze. You don't have to squeeze really hard at this point because we're going to be adding more in anyway and it comes out pretty easily. So I'm gonna open that back up. I'm leaving those sesame seeds in there and I'm going to add a bit more of my liquid, being careful not to get any cinnamon sticks that got left behind in there. So you did see little cinnamon sticks. Those were just what didn't get taken out, but I had taken out the bulk of them. Anyway, I'm going to continue squeezing until I do all of it and do my cinnamon sticks last. And this creamy milky goodness is what I'm going to end up with. I add this straight into the pitcher with no ice because I like to put the ice in the glasses so that it does not get watered down. And this is what you get. <laughs> 